Just three days ago, Trump hit every rare earth coming from China into the US with an additional 100% tariff. Right now, there are a lot of moving pieces in the supply chain for Tesla's insatiable battery demand. By 2026, they'll roll out millions of affordable Model 2s, robo-taxis, updated Model 3s, and Cybertrucks. Elon Musk obviously won't sell them with a lithium battery inside. Instead, in the R&D labs, hundreds of tests are running on the three latest battery technologies. Aluminum ion, salt ion, and solid state. Some internal leaks we've stumbled upon show that Tesla's making some huge advances that the whole industry thought impossible. All the new cells are getting more efficient, more powerful, while the prices are going down. Are you already curious how Tesla has successfully overcome the low energy density of aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries? What strategy will they apply to reduce the price of solid state cells? And how will these new techs be integrated into upcoming models? Today's video will break it all down for you. Don't forget to subscribe to become the first 12,479 insiders to know how Tesla is revolutionizing American life. Now let's dive right in. How Tesla is overcoming the energy density limitations of aluminum and sodium batteries. 2025 is when people talk about aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries for their advantages over traditional lithium in safety and price. Both use salt-based electrolytes and have a very stable chemical structure. Aluminum and sodium ions don't react easily with air or moisture. This basically removes the risk of fires or thermal runaway that lithium batteries are known for. More importantly, their production costs are significantly lower. Aluminum batteries cost only about 60% of lithium batteries, while salt batteries can even reduce the cost by 25 to 30%. However, the inherent weakness of these two types of batteries lies in energy density. Tesla's current lithium-ion batteries reach around 250 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram, giving the Model 3 or Model Y a driving range of about 350 to 380 miles per charge. In comparison, aluminum batteries only hit around 150 to 200 watt-hours per kilogram and sodium ion batteries about 120 to 180 watt hours per kilogram. So, with the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, an aluminum powered EV could only go 250 to 270 miles, and a sodium ion one around 220 to 240 miles. That's the main reason most Americans still don't see these two as ideal replacements. They'd have to sacrifice too much driving range especially people living outside the city who drive long distances or travel between states where charging stations are still pretty sparse. However, according to some leaked data from Tesla's R&D labs, the engineering team has found a few new ways to increase the energy density of both aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries. For aluminum ion, Tesla first tried increasing the pack size to 100 kilowatt hours, even 120 kilowatt hours but that will affect Tesla's structural battery packs, Deskin. They also used graphene as the anode material to improve ion conductivity. But while that helped speed up charging and heat dissipation, it didn't do much to boost energy density. The newer and smarter approach they're working on now is something called 3D porous electrode architecture. Instead of adding new materials, Tesla redesigned the entire internal structure of the battery cell to make better use of ion storage space. In older aluminum prototypes, the flat anode and cathode surfaces only stored about 60% of the available aluminum ions. This time, Tesla built a nano-porous electrode network packed with millions of holes just 5 nanometers wide. This design increased ion storage efficiency from 60% to 95%. Energy density rose from 200 watt-hours per kilogram to around 450 to 480 watt-hours per kilogram. If used in a Model 3, that could mean a 500-mile range per charge, 0 to 80% fast charge in just 4 minutes, and a battery lifespan of up to 12,000 cycles with only 8% capacity loss. A similar space optimization approach is being used for sodium batteries too. 
Since sodium ions are larger than aluminum ions, Tesla experimented with a layered electrode structure. In this setup, 10 nanometer sodium layers are stacked like sheets of paper to store more ions in the same volume. The result, energy density increased from 180 watt hours per kilogram to around 270 to 310 watt hours per kilogram, about a 45% jump. With a 75 kilowatt hour pack, a sodium powered Model Y could reach up to 380 miles per charge, almost the same as today's lithium models. But as sodium ion batteries are cheaper, safer, more stable under extreme temperatures, and can charge twice as fast, they're still better than lithium ones. So if you've been skeptical about aluminum and sodium batteries, maybe Tesla's latest breakthrough will make you think again. Would you want a cheaper, safer, and more stable battery that doesn't compromise on performance? Which one would you like to see first in Tesla's 2026 lineup, aluminum or sodium? Drop your answer in the comments and let's talk about it. How will Tesla lower the price of solid-state batteries in the next eight months? At this point, solid-state batteries are still seen as the peak of energy storage technology. They have the best performance among all the new types of batteries Tesla is working on. We're talking about an energy density of around 650 to 700 watt-hours per kilogram, which could mean a driving range of 800 to 850 miles, almost 100% safety, up to 20,000 charge cycles longevity, and the ability to fully charge in just three minutes. For anyone who owns an EV, there's really no reason not to want solid-state batteries. However, the biggest problem right now is their very high cost and the challenge of mass production. The main reason solid-state batteries are hard to scale up is that they require a complete overhaul of existing manufacturing lines. Traditional lithium-ion factories use liquid electrolytes, but solid-state ones need a completely dry environment and high-precision equipment like vacuum presses, differential heating furnaces, dry rollers, and humidity control systems. That means replacing all the current mixing, coating, and cell assembly machines. Upgrading to that kind of setup could cost one to two billion dollars, pushing production costs to about 400 to 500 dollars per kilowatt hour, roughly four times higher than lithium ion batteries, around 115 dollars per kilowatt hour. That means just the battery pack for one EV could cost up to $20,000, keeping solid-state tech stuck at the prototype stage instead of reaching mass production. Other companies like Toyota and QuantumScape have rushed to announce that they're close to finishing solid-state development, but in reality, their prototypes still face issues like dendrite formation damaging cells and interfacial instability hasn't been solved yet. This is where Tesla's quiet advantage comes in. The company's 4680 battery with dry electrode technology is already about 70% compatible with solid-state production. That means Tesla doesn't have to rebuild its entire production line. They only need to upgrade solid press machines and pressure control chambers at an estimated cost of around $200 million, compared to $1 to $2 billion for others. In its Nevada tests, Tesla already produces about 80% of its solid sulfide layers in-house, cutting cell costs from $200 per kilowatt hour, if outsourced, down to $90 per kilowatt hour. On top of that, Tesla's vertical integration model lets them make almost everything themselves, from raw materials to battery cells, instead of depending heavily on partners. They still work with Panasonic and Samsung, but mostly for R&D, not as sole suppliers like Toyota or Volkswagen do. Tesla now has one battery factory fully operating in Nevada and another under construction in Texas. Without supplier markups or supply chain delays, Tesla can reduce production costs by another 30% and roll out new upgrades within months instead of years. With this pace, Tesla could bring solid-state battery costs down to around $150 per kilowatt hour by 2026 and even reach $100 per kilowatt hour by 2027, the golden break-even point, where solid-state batteries finally outperform lithium-ion ones in both cost and performance. 
That would open the door to mass production and make this technology the new standard for the entire EV industry. How will Tesla's new battery technologies be applied to its upcoming model lineup? The fact is, Tesla's building a more diverse ecosystem than ever. From compact, affordable city cars to high-performance monsters built for long-distance driving. The big question is, how will they integrate all three new battery types, aluminum ion, sodium ion, and solid state, into their upcoming lineup starting in 2026? We guess they're planning to mix and match them smartly, depending on real-world needs, climate, and budget, to optimize everything from cost to performance. Aluminum and sodium batteries will be the first to go commercial, powering Tesla's lower-cost, city-focused models. With the limitation of improved energy density overcome, these two technologies have completed testing steps and are preparing to transfer to mass production. Their cost is incredibly low, about $45 per kilowatt hour for aluminum and $30 per kilowatt hour for sodium. These two new batteries are expected to debut in the long-awaited Tesla Model 2, the company's compact, budget-friendly EV. According to internal plans, Model 2 will be unveiled within the next four to five months and start deliveries in Q1 2026. The standard aluminum battery version will be priced between $17,000 and $19,000, offering a solid 400-mile range perfect for daily driving in big cities across the US, Europe, and Asia. Meanwhile, the sodium battery version, priced around $15,000 with 320-mile range, will target colder markets like Canada, Northern Europe, and parts of North America, regions where traditional lithium batteries still often lose up to half their performance in freezing conditions. Both battery types are also expected to power the upcoming Tesla RoboTaxi, set to launch in Q3 2026 at around $20,000 per unit. With their low cost and long lifespan, these batteries could bring Tesla's operating costs down to just 15 cents per mile, making large-scale robo-taxi fleets financially sustainable. On the high-performance side, solid-state batteries will power Tesla's premium lineup. The technology could make its way into the Model 2 Performance Edition by 2027 with a price of around $23,000 and an estimated 650-mile range from a 75-kilowatt-hour pack. Many insiders also expect the next-gen Roadster, coming in the first quarter of 2027, to feature a 100-kilowatt-hour solid-state pack that delivers up to 700 miles per charge and 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.3 seconds. That's the lowdown on Tesla's next-gen batteries and how they're making upcoming Tesla EVs safer, faster, and cheaper for every type of driver. Now it's your turn. Which battery would you trust under your hood? Drop your pick in the comments to let us know. If you found this helpful, hit like, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next video.